going on guys welcome back to the channel having a great day today i'm going to show you guys how to get some better sound and exhaust out of your bmw by just using this all right so if you guys are watching this video you are wondering how to get some better sound and exhaust out of your bmw without going out there and spending an arm and a leg on some aftermarket exhaust or doing something crazy and avoiding your warranty on your car well today i'm going to show you guys how to do this with a simple little trick and it doesn't cost you much at all and just takes a little bit of your time you want to go to the auto parts store you're going to want to pick up one of these this is a bar fitting for a, like a vacuum source and you want to get a 3 16 like this a uh, straight shot like this straight little teeth but if you can only find uh, these these will work as well but you'll have to cap off uh, the top part so at least it has a straight uh, vacuum source okay you can put a screw in here or something like that but something that gets a straight vacuum so uh, preferably one that is straight like this will work first of all uh before you go and spend any kind of money or any kind of time go to your muffler and check inside the exhaust tips if you see a flap there in one of your tips then you definitely have the actuator in your mufflers and you this will work on your car okay but if you don't see a, a valve in your muffler then you don't have it it's not going to work don't bother even trying to do this your car doesn't have it so what i'm talking about i'll show you guys right now all right guys i'm gonna go show you guys what i'm talking about here this is my 2010 bmw 750i and if you go look inside on the back of your muffler here you'll see that there is a a valve so that side has a valve and this side doesn't see how it's open and this side has a valve and you'll see like a little actuator up there and i've seen people actually like use metal hangers to hold that valve open uh which is kind of kind of messed up kind of weird but and that's a lot of work because there's not very much room down there but yeah if your car has a valve like that then this will work for you okay so now that we determined that your car does have a actuator in your muffler we can go ahead and move on to the next step and that is locating the actuator that has the vacuum going to uh the muffler so um what you do is you can actually uh look in your trunk most of these bmws have it in the same location which is in the driver's side trunk area uh, behind the cover so that's where most of uh the actuators on all bmws are but if you are not sure if you want to know exactly where you waste your time go ahead and just message me down below and I can look it up for you guys and I can just message you right back as soon as I can get the message. But right now I'm going to show you where mine is and what it looks like. They all look the same and what we need to do. Alright guys, I'm going to show you what these little valves looks like. Open the trunk. And we're going to want to go into the driver's side area over here on this BMW 750. And then pop this uh, weather seal up a little bit so it gives us a little bit more slack. And I'm going to pull this down carefully. Damage it again down and there is the actuator see this see the vacuum lines go into it so this is what i'm talking about um so what we're gonna want to do here guys is we're gonna want to uh what i've also seen people do is they just disconnected the uh this vacuum here or at least the connector but that's gonna cause a change in your light so you don't want to do that uh what you want to do is you want to disconnect remove this vacuum line here okay and then remove the vacuum line going to the bottom of it and all we're gonna to wanna to do now is insert the T that we just bought, one in here, and one there, connecting them together, okay? So I already blocked mine off with a screw. We're gonna get one fitting here, like so. Make sure we screw it on all the way, get some good contact and connection there. And that is it, that's all you have to do. And we can go ahead and just leave this in here. Don't worry about it. I, check engine light call coming on or nothing like that all we do is now is start the car and let's hear uh the beef after all right guys so that is it sounds a little bit better definitely sounds uh, a little bit throatier at lower rpms before the actuators would actually open up uh, above 3000 rpms but now they're con constantly open uh, i'm thinking about removing uh, one of the resonators on the car because the car has two resonators they kind of give it a little bit deeper sound so i'm going to do that later on in a different video and i'm going to show you guys what it sounds like without a resonator or well, at least without one resonator because i don't want it too loud but it definitely sounds a little bit better but like i said guys if you guys uh, want to know exactly where your actuator is on your car or your bmw 
Uh, please message me down below, um, and I'll get to you as soon as I can. Please like, please subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next one.